Hi, this is Billy Bean here with another Weather Plus by Billy, episode 34. Today's date, January 23, 2023. New, this is my third YouTube channel. I have a subscribe button in the lower right corner of my screen. Thanks for like, subscribe, and share on YouTube and Rumble. Some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot, Subscriber, Israeli News Live, VP Earthwatch, Ryan Hall, Y'all, Direct Weather, Mike Morales, uh, David Nino Rodriguez, interview of Jim Willie and one of Benjamin Fulford, uh, Mr. MBB333+. Plus. So some of the things we'll cover, California, Atmospheric Rivers, Planet X, an MH370 and MH17. What's up with that? And March. So let's get started. Okay. I'm going to draw a map of the U.S. and bring out some weather uh, things that are going to be happening. So we've got Florida, Texas, Mexico, coming over to California, Canada. All right, California. We know that California continues to be hit by flood after flood called atmospheric rivers, which according to the meteorologist I'm listening to and other weather people, this is a new phenomena. I submit to you this is happening because of geoengineering. Plus, we do have energy coming in from space. And this geoengineering can be a positive and a negative. Because it's my understanding the White Hats, uh, geoengineering individuals are trying to mitigate the impact on the Earth that's coming in from space because certain layers of our atmosphere are being affected. So we'll get into it. But uh, there have been now hundreds of deaths that I understand are not being reported mudslides the this entire uh, area of california is weakening and it's being brought out about the relationship between flood and earthquakes that's been established decades ago and was established in this area of california so we need to pray for the people um, in california people and pets and other things so that's going on. Now, Ryan Hall, y'all, and Direct Weather are also predicting this next week or two. Uh, actually having uh, some cold weather. We know we've, uh, even though this was predicted to be a, a one in a 500 year cold winter, we're seeing it, uh, the nation, the, the United States and the other areas in the world, having abnormally warm temperatures. And again, I submit, I believe it's a combination of geoengineering plus impacts on Earth from space. Okay, but uh, Direct Weather and Ryan Hall, y'all are predicting in the next week or two, the last two weeks of January, even in Texas, in the top part of Texas, we could have some snow and more in the east but definitely in the next week or two uh, drawing up along this way and then moving over to the east thunderstorms and heavy rain drawing moisture from the gulf of mexico so that's coming yeah we got that going all right and california is Predicted to have more of the atmospheric river storms coming. Sorry to be the bearer of that news. Okay, Al Jazeera English is reporting. We're talking about the space energy 
impacting the earth. We have in uh, Pakistan, that happened early, uh, about 2 a.m. in the morning, this morning, on Monday morning, January 23. The entire nation's grid is down, and it, it is still down. They anticipate at least another 12 hours to restore. Now, the Minister of Energy did come on their mainstream media that's being powered, of course, by generators. It said they had this nationwide outage in their power due to a flux, a variability in frequencies. I submit to you a possible impact of space energy. And that has been something that has been looked at. Okay. Now we'll talk a little bit about, about the economy. David Nino Rodriguez recently interviewed Jim Willie, a PhD economist from Costa Rica, who's talking about the end of the US dollar. And the that's been uh, going on now for about two years, a warning that the nations around the uh, globe we're going to stop accepting U.S. dollars for trade. And in the last year and in the last month or so, that has come to be. And we see, we can hear things, but uh, seeing some tangible results to back up the information is good. And we've been seeing for the last six months less and less ships coming into our ports in New York and along California and other ports in the U.S., which demonstrates there's less trade going on. Okay, now we have this, Goldman Sachs. Uh, just, yeah, this is from Mark Z. He's also, uh, I think he does gold and silver as economist. So yesterday, uh, on January 19, Goldman Sachs laid off their entire trading floor. That means the people that get on the phone and make deals about stocks and, and uh, bonds and that type thing, laid them all off. Now, Goldman Sachs would also be one of the big players who would also have less and less money coming in. So that's going on. Now, let's see what else is going on. We have this. We have this information coming in that the U.S. Treasury, and I had a Patriot subscriber who said it's in Texas, and we understand the U.S. Treasury has taken over the Federal Reserve. Uh, and that means the central banks are also going down. And this would bring in, according to President Trump and uh, his economic person Muntkin or Mantkin QFS Nasara Jassar. So that's all going on and we have more and more reports of Patriot subscribers around the United States receiving the new rainbow currency from their ATM machines. So we see something tangible to back up the information we're receiving. Okay, let's talk a little bit about Planet X. Now we have several reports talking about we're in the days of Noah. And I would agree with that. All right, Noah. So we had Adam and Eve. We have Jesus, who many call Yeshua. We had Noah. Now, I've put out many times, God despises genetic manipulation and 
when it reaches a certain level, God facilitates or allows to happen extinction level events, which is what the flood in Noah's time was. Now, Gil Brassard has linked uh, his information about Planet X with the Bible. And many instances, he's tied it to the flood of Noah, which was an extinction level event. I believe that's true. Uh, so what we're seeing, what happened in the days of Noah is that the earth was heating up from within. And that's the same information God gave me in the fall of 2020. So we're in the days of Noah in terms of earth changes and in terms of space energy and an object in space we euphemistically called Planet X, impacting the Earth. Now, BP Earth Watch, uh, I've looked at several of his videos. He believes that Jupiter is Nebiru, or Planet X. And I submit uh, this effect of Jupiter on the earth uh, could take place when we uh, have the space energy coming in. I think Jupiter definitely could play a role in that. Now we have Mike Morales, the independent weather guy. I'll link his video for you. And it's showing uh, some type of comet or space object in the sky. We have Mr. MBB333 on December 22nd. Spaceships were seen around the world. So he's got video on that. Now we have this. We have Mark, uh, Dr. Michael Sala. So Dr. Michael Sala, and he interviewed a super soldier called Mark Domenzio, who's bringing out different information, including, I hear that beeping going off. I think of the battery in my uh, fire detectors getting low. So that's the beeping. All right, so he's talking about black ops going on in Diego Garcia. And I'll draw you a map and give you some information on that. Now, Mark brought out this information, which I found very interesting. So he is, says he is a hybrid with um uh andromeda dna and he says he has a body a soul plus he's talking about his light body now i would interpret this to mean the energy body that we all have we have our physical body we have inside our light body and our soul. But because his uh, is Andromeda, it was considered unique. And the ETs have a way to extract the light body, separate it from the soul. Then they use that energy, but they invert it. <clears throat> so I would assume if it's going fast, they slow it down and like that. Invert the energy. And then they can use that energy to animate a, an avatar body for um, other ET or spirits. So that was new information to me. A separation of a light body from the soul and using the energy for other ET or spirit, spirits and to animate a body for them. Okay, now, Diego Garcia. 
Here is India. Here is China. We have Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Myanmar, also called Burma. It comes down like this. We have Malaysia right here. We have Sri Lanka. I have Patriot subscribers from Sri Lanka. All right, so the Malaysian plane, uh, MH370, took off from Malaysia. That was on March 8, 2014, and disappeared. It was later came out. It went to uh, Diego Garcia. That's a U.S. military black ops location. And we later found out that what they did, they took the plane here and somehow gassed all the people that were on it. Then they saved the bodies for the staging uh, on July 14. And this is Shadow, U.S. military, Shadow CIA. On July 14 of 2014, they staged a commercial plane being shot down over Ukraine so they could blame it on Russia. But the reports came out and that there were no live bodies on there. There were dead bodies there and they had been dead for a while. So bit by bit over the years, information has come out that this staging on this plane came from the dead bodies that were on Malaysia 370 put together by the uh, the deep state, the shadow, U.S. military shadow, uh, uh, CIA. Okay, so we have India, just to give you some perspective, we have Iran, Turkey and then Ukraine. So then this took the plane and went up here and had the shootout. Yeah, that's going on. Now we have information coming from Stephen Benoon, Israeli News Live. Stephen used to work for the CIA, now as a ministry, regularly gets updates from the Pentagon. Now, he interviewed John Moore, and John Moore uh, worked for Intel. Like, uh, I think that might have been military Intel. And when he left the Navy, this was decades ago, he got a map. It was a Navy map showing what was going to happen to the United States in the future when Planet X or whatever passes by. So he's been in the truth or business ever since then on the radio and other other uh, platforms. Okay, and uh, so that's going on. I'll link that interview for you. Now, Stephen Manoon is saying that the economy and the governments and the war as all to distract people on the earth from what's going on in space and what's going on is we have energy coming in from space impacting the earth and we have layers we have an exosphere we got a thermo we got a meso plus some other layers Stephen is bringing this out that the exosphere is 90% down. The thermosphere is 25% down. And the mesosphere is being impacted uh, from the earth. This is by the deep state. They're using CERN to impact the mesosphere. And it's also being impacted from space by like uh, energy and space debris. Now, the deep state is not concerned about destroying all the life on Earth, which is what they want, so they can claim all the resources on Earth. 
because they plan to move to other planets or underground or to the moon. So that's going on. Now, uh, so Stephen's bringing this out. And he's also talking about the magnetosphere going down. That's our shield. Around the earth, we got this magnetosphere to protect us. And some people say that this would protect us from any space debris or, or uh, planets or whatever. And that's very likely correct when it's intact, but it's been going down for decades. So, and we want to do away with the deep state using CERN. They're using CERN to impact the layers of the earth. We don't want that. Now, I had a word from the Lord about this Planet X energy, all this coming in. So, so what God says is here's Earth and uh, here's Planet X. And we know it's uh, a planet that's going to have a big tail. And supposedly it's this that's going to cause us so many problems. But God says the spiral tail will not strike the earth, says the Lord. Fire will come down. We're going to get space debris. And it is likely to cause fires. And that correlates to the Bible. Uh, in the days of Noah, it was destroyed by flood. In the future, it will be destroyed by fire. Now, Mike from around the world had brought this out, that the energy coming in from this space event will change the chemical uh, uh, composition of different things so that some chemicals will spontaneously burst into fire. So that's going on. So, uh, so a spiral tail will not strike the earth, says the Lord. Fire will come from space debris where I, God, decree. And my sons and daughters will be spared from the brunt of sacrifice. Others who are not aligned with me will bear. The earth will reel and move to and fro. And I say to those whom I, God, am bonded with, be at peace and look for prosperity. You are my people, says the Lord. We say thank you, Father. Okay, now we'll go into this interesting interview that David Nino Rodriguez had with Benjamin Fulford. Now, Benjamin Fulford is a Canadian journalist who's lived in Japan for decades and has contacts with elite families all over the earth. Okay. Uh, he, he talked about the golden dragon family and the white dragon family. It's been a few months ago. Jim Woolley was talking about these families and I had a download from God that these families were real. You know, we in the West, we, we don't know what to think about. These are elite ruling uh, Asian families. Okay, who are positive. Now, so Benjamin Fulford is talking about that recent meeting at Davos and Klaus Schwab, who's a Rothschild. Now, we had in the Bible, we, we talked about the fallen angels, and they mated with humans, and they made hybrids, the Nephilim. And then they mated and made 13 bloodline families. And that's who is ruling many governments and many royal families all over the earth today. And this includes the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers. We're familiar with these families. And apparently, they're going down. Because all the economies are being destroyed bit by bit. Now, so... Uh, 
Yeah, and Klaus Schwab Rothschild at the Davos meeting is taking a perspective of uh, the people on the earth like uh, Marie Antoinette did before the French Revolution. Let them eat cake. And he's saying, let's just raise their taxes. We're, they're chipping into our money. Let's, you know, raise the prices they have to pay for things and raise taxes. Yeah, let them eat cake. All right. God is involved in this too, because this is all on God's timetable. All right. Uh, so this Rothschild, uh, the British have agreed that the Rothschild will surrender. That's in charge of Europe. Uh, uh, the European economy will surrender to the White Hats. And the Rockefeller family, some of their members, was the leader of World War II Germany, who had like three daughters and other people, including HRC was related, as was Bill Clinton. So, yeah. So now we see tangible things taking place, like the Prime Minister of New Zealand resigning, and soon... Uh, I, I would say within February, it sounds like. The reason McCarthy is now the speaker is the plan is to JB, he's going away. We see that public acknowledgement of all these classified documents. We see in Canada, uh, Justin Trudeau also will be uh, resigning or replaced. And we see... Uh, JB's going away. KH is not qualified. This leaves McCarthy. This will lead to new e elections in March. And President Trump is anticipated to once again run. President Trump has been in Colorado and Mount Cheyenne since January of 2021. The uh, overweight President Trump, who's pushing uh, uh, pharma for the arm, is uh, a double put in place by the deep state that is not the real uh, President Trump. So that's going on. Now, we have this. We have, uh, yeah, one of the things McCarthy agreed to do was uh, put in place a hearing about the FBI going after citizen patriots. Now, this is new information to me with regard to the plan of the world and who's in charge. And this comes from uh, Benjamin Fulford, who says... He says the Illuminati is a group that's positive for humans and that they orchestrated and brought about several revolutions, including the one in France and the one in America, and that they are uh, in charge of the white hat hat groups all over the earth and militaries, and they oppose bloodline hereditary ruling, uh, as in the deep state. So, that's going on. Now, a short prayer. It's entitled, Liberty. We give thanks to our Father who gave His only begotten Son to restore to us liberty as the independent sons and daughters of God in whose image we are created we think, we speak, we create our reality, guided by our God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And we say, Father, guide us to liberty in our pulpits and our schools and our voting booths. And we say, Father, guide us to liberty and justice once again in our Supreme Court and all of our courts at all levels across our land. 
And we ask, Father, guide us to liberty in all of our governments at all levels. And we thank you, Father, Son, Jesus, and many call Yeshua and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I say to my family and friends, remain steady out there. Continue to pray. God is in charge and he is on the move. I love you and I'll see you soon.